doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be making a Aldi haul video and I'm just going to show you the items and then I'm going to kind of describe why I got them. So the first item that I got were these Honeycrisp apples. Um, there are seven in here and they were $2.20. That's like the price of like two apples at a regular store. These are my husband's favorite apples. And um, we usually go to an orchard in Charlottesville um, around this time of year. But since during the pandemic, we couldn't really go. So I decided to pick up some Honeycrisp apples for him to enjoy since we couldn't go pick them this year. So the next thing I'm going to show is that I got this spaghetti. And this spaghetti is actually um, wheat spaghetti. Um, but the thing that I like about this is that um, it doesn't taste like too weedy. It tastes like white pasta, but it's wheat. And um, we usually use it um, with this spaghetti carbonara recipe. And um, it calls for like the whole box, but uh since it's just me and my husband we only eat about like a little bit less than half the box but I actually make the whole pasta box and then like later in the week we could use it for like lunches with some spaghetti sauce or um like a, a small dinner and it really works out for this for us and um, you really, really, really can't beat the price on the spaghetti. Um, it's a dollar. It's literally a dollar for spaghetti. So the next items that I'm going to show are these K-Cups. So they had Hostess, K-Cups, Twinkies, and Ding Dongs. And this is really weird because I've never actually had a Twinkie or a Ding Dong, but... Um, my husband has and I've actually been eyeing these on um like the actual like hostess website to buy them and um they were like $5.99 $6.99 I don't remember and then plus shipping and I was like mm, I don't know if they're gonna be good I don't know if I'm gonna like them and um kid you not these were $2.50 each these were in the Aldi finds section so I picked up both to see and then um, my community has like a free community Facebook page. So like basically anything if I don't like it and like if my family doesn't want it, then I just give it away in that group and everyone seems like really appreciative of that. So I'm really excited about these. So um, the Twinkies one is enjoy the sweet flavors of Twinkies sponge cake combined with notes of creamy vanilla filling. And then the Ding Dongs one is extra rich chocolate Ding Dongs cake flavors are combined with vanilla filling. So it comes with 12. Um, and they don't expire until 2022. So that's great. And it has like the, um, if you open it, it has like a lip. So you don't have to like open an entire box. So picked up these. The next thing that I got was this shredded Parmesan cheese. It is already shredded for you. And um, this is great. This is amazing. This is so good on top of pasta inside of the um, spaghetti carbonara that I mentioned earlier. And it's really, really good quality. And you actually get like a lot in here. I think I've, I have made two dinners of um, spaghetti carbonara, including like um, Parmesan cheese on top um, and I still have like probably about like a quarter cup left and um, this was a dollar ninety nine dollar ninety nine I love all these everything is so cheap um, I also got oh I also got um powdered Parmesan cheese like the craft powdered Parmesan cheese um and like, I'll go get that, but not right now. Um, so the next thing that I got was the brioche loaf bread. And this is from um, 
like the bakery section and um the Aldi that I went to this time actually has a bakery but this wasn't in like their bakery this was in like the normal Aldi bakery so um what's it called yeah so it is a sliced brioche loaf it's already sliced with chocolate chips and it's imported from France and it's 130 calories per slice and this I thought this was perfect to make French toast with or to put it in the toaster in the morning for like a quick breakfast and um I've had their other like this the plain brioche loaf before and it was really good and um it doesn't expire till the 29th and today's the 20th so I still have nine days and I actually got this on Friday even though today's Sunday I actually got this on Friday um so this is like a really good expiration date for like all these stuff because all these stuff kind of does tend to turn a little early and this was three dollars and 45 cents which is not that bad but it is a little bit spendy for an only thing but um yeah i'll be right back i'm gonna get the crumb on cheese So I did get this and I do actually, this is weird because I do like this better than the craft one. Um, and this is my first time trying to reduce fat. I usually get the normal one, but, um, this tastes like better quality and, um, it actually has like Parmigiano Reggiano cheese in it rather than just Parmesan. And it is so good. Um, I didn't use like the last one as much as I thought because it kind of expired before I was able to use it all but yeah I picked up another one of those and um that was a dollar ninety for that okay so all the rest of my stuff oh wait no I have one more thing so I love these pastry crisps. They also have them in strawberry flavor, but I'm allergic to strawberry. And they're 100 calories, no artificial colors or flavors, and they have 10 crisps. So um, it is one of these crisps in a package, and it's perfect for like a quick snack, a breakfast, um, anything like that. And actually, like these are like low carb, like toast, like pop tarts. So like. These are, um, like, really, really good um, for, like, a quick snack. And I and um, my mom really loves these, too, because it's, like, a quick sweet treat. Um, like, in case you're, like, you know, kind of snacky, snackish. Um, so I actually got one pack for me and one pack for my mom. So now that is everything that's, like, normal. And then I got some Oktoberfest stuff that was in their seasonal section. And I'm gonna be going through that next. And this will be kind of like a little bit of a spoilers. Spoiler to my sister if she watches this because I'm sending some of this stuff to her. Okay. So the first thing I got was this Jamaican rum liquor dessert cake. And um, I actually already did try this and this is imported from Germany. And um, all of the liquor cakes are $1.99. And I, I opened this so you can kind of like see it. Also, we wanted to try it. So it does come in this like foil. And it is just like a cake. It kind of like a banana loaf. Um... I, uh, we ended up like actually not liking this because it was actually like very, very saturated in the liquor. Like, so if you want something that's really boozy, then these are good. But, um, it was very boozy. Like, it was like you were drinking a shot of rum. Um, and also like another thing that I didn't like was it was like wheat flour which I eat wheat bread and eat wheat spaghetti but it was like really dense and kind of dry so I'm actually going to give this to my brother because um like 
on his birthday, he kind of, like, joked with me that, like, um, he, like, was missing some alcohols, um, because we usually go to, like, a Mexican restaurant for his birthday and, like, treat him to a drink. So maybe, like, maybe he'll like this. I don't know. I mean, he could just, like, throw it away if he doesn't like it, but, um, I'm gonna gift this to my brother. The next two... The next two things are going to be like another liqueur cakes or liquor cakes. So I got Amaretto and um, this one, this one does have wheat flour, but it has less wheat flour and it is imported from Germany. And that was $1.99 and the tiramisu one. So they had these two and um, this one also has wheat flour, but it has less than the other one. So these two are actually going to my sister because, um, like, I originally got these for my sister. And, um, you know, it could go great with, like, some coffee or, like, just as a small dessert. And, um, yeah. This has mocha liqueur in it, the tiramisu. And the amaretto has amaretto in it. So she'll have to get back to me on these if they're good. They were $1.99 each um the next thing that i got was were these milk chocolate flavor sorry guys my video just like randomly stopped and i don't know why so anyways i'm continuing the next thing i got was this milk chocolate flavored wafers with a hazelnut cream filling and these sounded like so good. And so I tried one like right when I got home and it was not good, um, unfortunately. The wafer was stale. And I like literally just opened these and it was stale. And they came in like, they were packaged, they were sealed. And um, yeah, it's like a thing of chocolate. And then hazelnut cream and then the wafer and the wafer was stale and I was sad because I wanted to like these um so these are going to be going to um my brother and um you know like I said before he can throw them away if he doesn't like them or um not if he likes them he likes them he can eat it with coffee or, or tea Oh, and also earlier, I said that the liquor cakes, the these liquor cakes were a dollar ninety nine. They're actually two ninety nine. This is a dollar ninety nine. They ring them up like right next to each other, and it's kind of like hard to tell, like with the pricing on my receipt. So, anyways, um, the next thing that I got were these cookies. And I'm really excited about these because these look like the hit cookies that you can get at the international market. These look like the original hit cookies. And I am very excited to try these. I actually got a three packs of these because one is going to my mom, one is going to me, and one is going to my sister. So I have not opened them. I have not tried them. But they look good. And they're UTS certified. So, I got three of those. And those were $2.49 each for each pack. And they are 17.6 ounces. I don't know how many cookies that are. So there's about 18 cookies, it says. Um, and... The next thing that I got is this fall harvest vegetable soup. It's a zesty blend of spaghetti and garden vegetables. And this is again imported from Germany. And um, I looked at the ingredients and it looked like something that like my husband would like. Um, so it's water potatoes, white cabbage, carrots, spaghetti, and it's like this spaghetti that we do like. Um, Eggs, peas, red, green, uh, peppers, onions, green beans, tomatoes, tomato paste, leek, salt, sugar, spices, canola oil, etc. So I actually did pick up two of these, and that was actually by accident. 
So one of them is going to be going to my sister. And this is a massive can. It is a 28 ounce can. And um, I have tried their other soups. I've tried like the tomato soup and like the other, the other ones that come in this size can and they are good. Um, might need a little bit of salt, but otherwise they are good. And um, this was $1.99. So the last two things that I got were these Spetzel, and um, I got two of the same flavor, mushroom egg, so egg noodle dish with white mushroom sauce. So actually my dad, um, when he was a kid, was stationed in Germany and loves, loves, loves German food. So I picked up these, and you have to like make it on your stove top. See, add two cups of cold water to medium saucepan, stir in the contents of the bag, bring to a boil, cook over medium heat for 12 minutes. And um, my brother eats a lot, so I got them two bags. And um, like I'm like they had different flavors. They had like um, chive, they had vegetable, they had like other stuff, and they also had frozen ones too. And they also had frozen um like apple strudel, apple pie, and um, like all kinds of all kinds of different variations of this. And these were $1.99 each. Um, and I also just looked at my receipt and I also, I just, I forgot something, so I'll be right back. So the last thing that I got was this Texas toast garlic bread. And honestly, I'm just gonna say it right now. This is the best pre-made Texas toast. I'm not lying. They also have three cheese, but I always get the garlic. Um, first of all, it is already sliced. It is buttered and garliced on both sides. And it's literally, it is ready in five minutes. So like when I cook, when I cook dinner, this goes in the oven while I'm cooking dinner, and then it's done. Like, it is done. And um, one time, like, I forgot to grab this, and I had to get, like, the loaf of garlic bread, and I had to, like, cut it, and I was like, never again. Like, the frozen garlic loaf, I was like, never again. It was so hard to do. And um, I, I love that this is already sliced, and this is my husband's favorite. Well, also, we, like, Walmart has garlic knots, and those are good, too, but um, I think these are actually better because they're more, like, buttery because the garlic knots are, like, just dough, and then there's, like, garlic brushed on top. So if you want, like, the luscious garlic butter bread, this is amazing. This is awesome. And, um, how much did I pay for that? That was a dollar, this is a dollar 49, and you get eight slices. And each one of us eat one slice, so it lasts kind of like a while. And if we're like really hungry, like he'll eat two slices, but that's like kind of rare, like it's for having dinner late. So like usually we do two slices for dinner, one for me, one for him, and then like we put it back in the freezer. And we actually like take it out of this box because this box is like huge. Um, and then we just put it in the bag and we know it's five minutes at, um, 425 usually I write it like on the fridge if we have like because we have a whiteboard if we have this in the freezer I put the directions on the fridge because then I can just throw this or recycle this box so anyways um all of this like all of this stuff including like gifts for my parents and my sister was $48 for all of this and like I was just like that is cheap that is very cheap um, so yeah, that is my Aldi haul. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you want more like grocery hauls, then let me know in the comments. Thanks. Bye.